hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bailey feel free to hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram and tiktok at bailey m stewart today's video is going to be a glute focused workout i'm taking my friend Devin. He's been in some of my videos before and he wants to do a glute focused workout. So I'm gonna take him through that. So this workout is gonna be showing you exercises that target mostly the glutes, like that's their main focus. If you give this workout a try, let me know what your thoughts are. Before we go to the gym, I have to change and get ready and meet him there. I wanna quickly thank the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much, My Protein, for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I'm officially a My Protein athlete. I have a code, so you can use my code BAILEYMYP to save. Package just came. I got to restock on a lot of things and try some new things. So I quickly wanna show some of my fave items. After my workout, I'm gonna show you a protein smoothie I have been loving. It is so good. Uh, it's strawberry lemonade. It is perfect for summer. I used to go to Tropical Smoothie and buy the strawberry lemonade all the time, but they got rid of it. Now I can make it at home. It tastes just as good and has protein. So I will show you the recipe for that after my workout. But first, I love that my protein has tons of different options. Um, I got the Impact Whey Isolate because getting the Whey Isolate helps with stomach issues. It's chocolate smooth. This is what I drink at night. I ran out, so I needed more. I mix this with like my granola, my peanut butter. I've shown it in another video. It's just a heavier protein shake. And then the clear white isolate, which has been my favorite lately. I got it in lemonade and this is what I use to make my strawberry lemonade smoothies. Again, perfect for summer. I also have it in the cherry vanilla cream flavor. And then I wanted to try the greens because I know I don't get enough green intake throughout my day. So I figured maybe if I start drinking this in the morning, it will help me get in my greens so i'm excited to try this i see all the time like the that girl tiktoks where they make their greens so i can be one of those and then if you don't like whey um they have vegan protein options that you can try they also have collagen and oh my gosh i have been loving this stuff so it's the protein pancake mix it's buttermilk flavor it's so much easier than having to like I mean, make the pancake mix and then figure out the protein powder ratio. It's already good to go. So I have been loving this. I add chocolate chips and some cinnamon in it. Oh, fire. Perfect for breakfast. And then I just got more pre-workout, except this time I tried the Mike and Ike flavor, and I absolutely love this. Um, I don't. I try not to drink pre-workout every time I work out, so I'll use this um, every now and then when I need the extra kick. I love snacking, so... I had to try the salt and vinegar chips. They're 14 grams of protein. And then these are perfect for if you want a quick little sweet treat. It's got 15 grams. And you guys know I had to stock up on these protein bars. I love the chocolate peanut butter flavor. My mom already took like four when she saw that I got my package. She loves these just as much as me. And then I got this shaker bottle because I feel like you can never have enough of these because I always forget to wash them. That is everything I got this month for my my protein order. Don't forget you guys can use my code I'm gonna get ready for the gym and then we're gonna do a glute workout Now you guys know I always start my workout with some dynamic stretching to help loosen up the muscles and get deeper in my movements Ryan Little <laughs>
So first movement, we're gonna be doing trap bar RDLs. I love trap bars for RDLs. I feel like it's just the perfect position, especially if you tend to feel it more so in your back. So when training for hypertrophy, which is how I train, I like to stick between three to five sets. And for this movement, I am doing four sets and 10, 10, eight, six, and I go up and wait each set. So to make the RDLs more glute biased, you want to make sure you're bending more at the knees and pushing your hips out. That puts a greater stretch on the glutes, so remember to hip hinge. Ryan Little. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're doing KAS glute bridges. So this is a smaller range of motion than a normal hip thrust. So overall, there's less leg involvement. So it's mostly glutes working in this movement. We're doing five sets and going up in weight each set. So next we're doing V-Squat Step Ups. This is probably one of my favorite glute movements. I love the V-Squat. So for this, we're driving through our heel and I never fully let my foot touch the ground. I feel like it helps keep tension on my other leg. So step up, I like the I feel like I know what I'm working on. Look at that pump. So I have terrible balance, so I use the Smith machine for my deficit reverse lunges. I'm doing four sets of 10 reps. Again, I'm increasing the weight each set. So for lunges, to make it more glute bias, I like to lean slightly forward. And you wanna remember to push through your heel when you come up. So for my finisher are Cable Machine Glute Medius Kickbacks. Remember, you are not crossing over for this movement. I'm doing three sets until failure. 
So you want to make sure you're kicking back at a diagonal, not just straight back. Okay, so I'm back from the gym, so we're gonna make the strawberry lemonade smoothie. This is what I use. I use the Clearway Isolate lemonade flavor, frozen strawberries, and ice. And then I just add water, and that's literally it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put everything in, and then we are going to blend it up. And ta-da, we have a yummy strawberry lemonade smoothie. So now I'm gonna drink this and then probably shower. So thank you so much for watching, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.